horrifying announcement about Social Security, all seniors affected. During these past eight years, while Barack Hussein Obama was president, our Social Security system was deeply flawed. But we couldn't even imagine that it was this bad. It's horrible. A recent audit revealed that the Social Security Administration paid out $1 billion in benefits to people that don't have Social Security numbers, which are people who should not be receiving Social Security at all. This indicates that there was a huge flaw in the government's documentation of representative payees, or people who receive benefits on behalf of someone else incapable of managing their affairs. According to our source, Donald Trump News, over the past decade, the SSA paid $1 billion to 22.426 representative payees who had no social security numbers and who the SSA never received a paper application from, which is what their policy demands for them to obtain. Unless it takes corrective action, we estimate SSA will pay about $182.5 million in benefits, annually to representative payees who do not have an SSN or paper application supporting their selection, the Inspector General said. The Inspector General also discovered that the SSA paid $853.1 million since 2004 to representative payees that had been terminated by the agency. The agency never updated their system after the terminations and did not follow up with paper applications. Instead of admitting their mistake, the SSA defended their actions and switched to an electronic representative payee system. Representative payees play a significant role in many beneficiaries' lives. We have approximately 5.7 million representative payees managing annual benefits for approximately 8 million beneficiaries. When appointing representative payees, we adhere to guidance in the Social Security Act, the SSA said in a statement. Specific to this audit, the Act permits us to appoint, in certain circumstances, an undocumented alien, or applicant who resides outside the United States without a Social Security number to serve as payee. Specifically, the Act states we should verify a person's SSN, or employer identification number, in our investigation of the payee applicant. However, the Act does not state that the applicant must have an SSN to serve as a payee. Scroll down to the comments and tell us what you think. Think.